first day of the Texas 200. Uh, I spent last night on the boat. It's kind of warm, but not too bad. Everybody's getting ready here. Give you a quick look around. I got every nook and cranny crammed with stuff. Got a little cooling pan going to pull air in through that scoop there. Help me out a little bit. Big fan for the tent if we're sleeping at night. Actually, I used, <coughs> I used that last night on the boat here. And then I'm just loaded. I'm The boat's loaded heavier than I've ever been uh, with it. So hopefully she'll sail okay like this. Uh, the ducks, I think, are already out there. And I'm getting ready to head out and join them. So looking forward to this. It's been a long, long uh, journey to get ready to go. So we're finally ready. And Tunes going, zipping along, we're doing about 4.8, duck fleet is ahead of us. See you later to Port Mansfield. down about 20%. Then it looks like it's picking up more. It's a rough little bay. That's some duck ingenuity right there. They broke a rudder and they're towing. Alright, it's isn't going so good. Chuck's over now. He was towing the other duck. See how they get going here. Alright, so this isn't really that great. I'm still down. I'm drifting down onto the dock with the broken rudder. See if I can help him. And uh, we got uh, Pilgrims up there trying to help Chuck. He was trying to tow the, the duck and it flipped over on him. Uh, I'm not sure what I can do, but I'm going to try and get down to this guy and get tied up to him. Maybe I can tow him. I don't know. That's it. Okay, Rick. Can you believe you flew all the way down here for this shit? Okay, you good and tied? Alright. 
Rick in tow. Travis is up there helping uh, Chuck. And we're going to go get in line again. <laughs> this is some crazy shit. Uh, running dead downwind almost with. Football game. Finally, just abandoned it and said, "You know what? We got to ride with what we got." So he's back there. He's not feeling all that great. Uh, he's just laying down. The water has smoothed out quite a bit. We're getting towards the end of uh, uh, where the Laguna Madre dumps into the intercoastal waterway, the ditch, and that should get real flat in there, which will probably allow me to put up some more sail at upper speed. We're making three and a half to four and a half, depending on whether or not we're going up or down a swell. So. Uh, that's actually not bad considering we're towing. I just got a, about a half reef in. And uh, we've got uh, about 11 miles left to go to uh, 11 miles left to go to the camp for tonight. It's, uh, it's a little bit challenging because you just cannot stop steering. You know, with the, with the load on the back of the boat, it just makes a rudder work a challenge. But uh, folks handling it pretty good. I'm pretty good. All right, sign it off. Oh, we ain't finished yet. Got your country boys and your redneck girls. 